Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angel, and if you didn't know already, I am a fourth year Canadian pharmacy student at the University of Queensland in Australia. Today, I will be showing you detailed steps on how I take my notes on my iPad in 2020, and I will be explaining exactly why I do the things that I do. It took me a few years to be able to come up with an efficient and organized note taking system, and I really hope that this will help you with your studies. If you haven't already, be sure to check out my Instagram page at Petite Pharmacist because I am more active there and will be posting daily updates. I have the first generation iPad Pro 12.9 inch with 256 gigabytes. I will be making my notes with this and with an Apple Pencil. Some of you may have already seen my video how I study for exams in pharmacy school, and that was before I digitized my notes, though things have changed quite a bit since then. Nonetheless, if you haven't already, be sure to check that video out. I will link it right here. Let's get started. The first thing I do is I look at my weekly planner, then I jot down a to-do list of what I need to complete today. That way, I won't forget what needs to be completed and will remain focused throughout my revision session. I then skim through the lecture. While I'm skimming through, I'm making a mental note of how I'm going to arrange my notes, as well as what information I'm going to include and leave out. Now let's get to the note taking process. I first start by creating a title for my notes. In this case, lower respiratory tract infections. I like to make it pretty by using the brush pen in blue and by writing in calligraphy. Just gives it really nice aesthetics. I then think about how I want to categorize and color code my notes. For this example, the color blue is for disease states, Purple is for a general header. Green is for drug names. And red is for very important information. I'm a visual learner and color coding my notes really helps with my memorization and learning. I could not study off of black and white study notes. I don't like to make my notes too wordy. I like to be able to see everything at one glance. For that reason, I only include important information and I write in point form instead of full sentences. I limit my use of jargon or filler words because they just aren't necessary. Let me give you an example. Instead of writing, acute bronchitis is defined by the inflammation of more than one bronchi and is more commonly caused by viruses than bacteria, I write it like this. Acute bronchitis, definition, inflammation of one plus bronchi, cause, virus, more common, bacteria, less common, symptoms, fever, productive cough. Treatment, no antibiotics applied because usually viral. Note that instead of writing the words more than one, I write one plus, and instead of writing the entire word definition, symptom, treatment, I shorten them into DEFN, SX, TX. By doing so, it saves me a lot of time and space, and you can also come up with your own abbreviations for your notes. It doesn't need to make sense to anyone as long as you can understand it. Of course, this is not a rigid system. As you can see, over here I have listed the individuals that require treatment for chronic bronchitis, and instead of writing in point form the treatment underneath it, 
I am making use of the space I have by grouping them together and by writing the treatment beside it. And over here, instead of writing the point forms vertically, I have written it horizontally to make better use of the space. I also organize my study notes via spacing. I think it's easiest to explain by giving you an example, so let me give you an example. I have written down a symptoms heading and a new onset cough as one of the point form. Because I want to write down more information regarding the cough, I space it out as so, and I write more information down over there. Notice how by spacing it as so, it makes it visually clear that the information written below the cough is an add-on information to that cough rather than a completely new symptom. It's a bit difficult to explain, but I hope you get it. And that is it. This is exactly how I take my notes on my iPad. And after I take my notes on the digital iPad, I usually print it out as well because I like the physical touch of paper and this is what they look like. I really hope that you found this video helpful in some way. If you have, give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more study and pharmacy related content and turn on the notifications so you are notified whenever I have uploaded a new video. Thank you so much for watching until the end and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!